you know, uh, I'm going to stray, stray off the message for a moment because... There's been something that has been touching my heart. Something that's, that, that caught me a few days ago and has been riding on my heart. As you know, the ministry uh, and the church uses the um, uh, internet and all of its um, facilities. And as you know, we have a Facebook um, account on there. And as most people do when they join on Facebook, they make friends and they join groups that are of the same thought or belief pattern that you are. And I was shocked and amazed when I saw a posting. Uh, and you know, this, this, this feeling that I have comes in two parts. It comes in the person who, who presented it, and then it's the persons who received it that really affected my understanding. I've been a preacher for many years. I've been a follower of Christ all my life from the moment of being able to taking knowledge. And the purpose of Christ is that we are able to live with one another, that we tolerate each other. Just like the disciples, when they first came together, when Jesus chose his disciples, everybody believes that it was all harmony from the beginning. These disciples came with their own skills. But in that time of building and molding those skills within Christ, there was arguments, there was confusion, there was disagreement. So we know that there is disagreement. But we also know that when Christ placed his hands upon these people, they were blessed in his name and only to become like a seed that grew to become fearless of this world. But this posting that I saw uh, it said similar, something similar, and I shall um, ad-lib in regards to the actual words, what it said. But it said something of the similar, if your preacher, if you went into service, serve Sunday service, and you found out your preacher was gay and was in a relationship, would you stay at the church? Would you stay at the church? And over the progress of the day, I saw so many no's. I saw people saying they wouldn't accept the word from him because he was gay and in a relationship. I saw messages saying if he was to change his ways, if he was to uh, stop being gay, then maybe. But other than that, I'd be on my way. Can I say a word that will hurt, but a word that needs to be digested? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. There are too many hypocrites up and down calling themselves Christians. I didn't want to preach on this today. I haven't got time to preach on this today. But hypocrites and prejudice. Hypocrites we will come to. Prejudice is what is not accepted in the house of God. So many times did the religious leaders of Christ's time condemn him for the people who he mixed with, for the lepers that he was sitting next to, the sinners who he sat and ate and talked and laughed and healed and gave the presence of his word. And here we have somebody starting maliciously about gay. I'm not here to preach on this today, but I want to touch somebody and I want to touch the congregation here today. When I say to you that only a hundred years ago, black people were suffering the same difficulties of a different description. Racism. I didn't want to preach about this today. Racism. Do you know there were people who used the Bible and, and, and use the Bible to indulge what they believed was right. That it was in the Bible that black people were not uh, human, were not like human beings, they were different. You know, it was not so long ago that women had the difficulty of even to get the vote, even to get into industries and jobs 
of the same as a man. It became a closed door. Religion has always been a controversy amongst people to say that your religion is better than their religion. All I can tell you is my religion is God. Amen? You know, it's difficult. It's difficult for a person to sit in front of me and to tell me he dislikes another person because they are different to them. Look how long it has taken to have a woman bishop in many denominations of the churches. And in some there is still the closed door that a woman shouldn't preach. That a woman should not be given the title of priest. That a woman should not be made a bishop. That they should not be able to stand in the altar and pray. Could you imagine? Could you imagine had that particular posting been about women? And saying, if... And you went to church on a Sunday and you saw a woman in the pulpit, would you stay? Hallelujah. 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 Can I just point out that the first person that Jesus came back to in the Holy Spirit was not a man, but it was a woman. It wasn't a man. It was a woman that Jesus came back to as the first person vision and how when Mary went and told the disciples they scorned her and said no no Jesus would have come to one of us not to a woman what I say to you is that if the spirit of Jesus Christ is in you then let it flow if the touching of the anointment upon you lets you speak the word of his favor, then teach, preach the word, teach the word, share the word, show the word, be the word. At the end of the day, please get rid of this prejudice. Let's clear the desk today. In this church, there is no prejudice. We are an all-inclusive church that welcomes anybody who is looking for the Spirit of Christ. Be they man, be they woman, be they child, be they black, be they white, be they big, be they small. I've said it a thousand times. You're all welcome in this church. Let us pray for those people who are still requirements of Christ upon their spirits. Tolerance is a hard, biting word especially when you don't believe it hallelujah 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 praise be to god